This is an Arduino board, and so are all of these. Well, kind of. Arduino boards are printed circuit boards made by the Arduino company that are equipped with microcontrollers. These little chips are the brains of a circuit, and while you can use them on their own, Arduino boards make them way more accessible and easy to use. For example, this Arduino Uno has a USB port to interface with the computer, an external power port, and rows of pins that you can plug your wires into. The Arduino company makes all of their designs open source, meaning that anyone can make boards just like theirs. While the companies can't call them Arduinos, many people still do as they work just the same. This also means that there are lots of attachments for Arduino boards that add additional features. These are called shields, and they allow you to control a number of devices, like speakers, screens, or various sensors, in a simple, perfectly fitted package. In addition to fitted shields, you can connect a whole army of sensors, motor controllers, and anything you can imagine to the Arduino board's pins. There are three types of pins on the Arduino. First, we have the power pins, which will supply a constant voltage of either 3.3 or 5 volts whenever the Arduino is on. Second, we have the digital pins, which the microcontroller can turn either high, which is typically 5 volts, or low, which is 0 volts. These can be used to turn on an LED or a motor, or even send data by turning the pin high and low for certain lengths of time. Third, we have the analog pins, which can be set to a whole range of values between 0 volts and 5 volts, which is useful if we want to change the brightness of an LED or the speed of a motor. If we want to program our Arduino to do any of this, we'll need to download the custom Arduino IDE, and then we can start writing code. Our code will be written around two main functions, setup, which runs just once when the Arduino boots up, and loop, which runs over and over again as long as the Arduino is on. If we want to power up an LED on one of our digital ports, say port 13, we can use the digital write function to tell the Arduino which port we'll be using and whether to set it high or low. First, we'll turn our LED on by setting pin 13 to high, which will send 5 volts of electricity out of port 13. Then we'll use the delay function to wait for 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. Then we can turn our LED off with digital write port 13 low, so we're not sending any voltage to port 13. We'll delay for one more second and then the loop will start over. With our Arduino connected over USB, we can hit the upload arrow to compile our code and load it on our Arduino. Now that the Arduino has its instructions, we can connect an LED between port 13 and ground, and it will turn on and off every second. Now, this LED can handle 5 volts, but if we were using an LED that couldn't, we'd need to protect it using a resistor. If we place our LED on our breadboard, we can connect it to port 13 on one side and connect the other side to a resistor and then ground. Now our Arduino is running the same program, but our LED is only dealing with 2 volts instead of 5. But remember, digital ports can be set high or low for certain lengths of time to send data to other devices. We can use that to control more complex devices like RGB LED strips, and if we take two of these LED strips back to back, cover them in foam and polycarbonate, we can create a lightsaber. Check out the full tutorial right here.